because there's a, uh, a startling oh. statistic saying that every yeah. time the AFC lo- wins the Super Bowl, the economy goes bad, and, and, and it has been for several years. Oh, that should be good news for the recession people. That's there. why the, the 70s were so bad, because the, yeah. the AFC teams always won the Super Bowls. <laughs> the Steelers. <laughs> yeah. Steelers, yeah, then Dolphins. So yeah. That's why everything was going bad. But uh, the 80s, the NFC won, and look how the 80s turned out. Yeah, great. Almost reminds me of that 80s show. What 80s show? <laughs> you mean they canceled it? What, what show's that? <laughs> the 80s show is on Fox these days. I'm not sure what... They uh, make fun of that stuff, that startling prog- prognostication that you, that you come up with. <laughs> What's about that? Did you know that the organizers of a fishing competition in California have disqualified the winner for failing a lie detector test? A lie detector test. I don't know. You had to have a lie detector test just to get onto a uh, a fishing competition. But it says here the 40-year-old man says the 40-pound striped bass he caught during the Rio Vista Bass Festival is legitimate. It's the first time organizers have used a test, and he's hired a lawyer to appeal the decision. Now, does it mean that much to him that he has to get a lawyer to say that he caught the fish? What's this world coming to? Well, you know, that... uh they're afraid that you might have caught uh, the fish flash frozen at a supermarket and thawed it out and called it his own. But they don't have fishes. You can't buy. You can't <laughs> buy a forty-pound fish at a supermarket. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. What you supermarkets you, you go to? No, you can't. You can't order a forty-pound fish. I go to Nick fit. Fish Market downtown. You get that all the time. That's a restaurant. No. And you don't order a forty-pound fish. They order the, the the catch of the day. Yeah. <laughs> catch of the day. Believe me, it's impossible to order raw fish off the air. No, you can't. You no, you can't buy a frozen fish forty pounds. Yes, you can. Do you know can. how big a forty-pound fish would be? Yes, you can. I brought my family brought bluefin tuna, which is a hundred pounds. And what do they do? Put it in a paper bag, double well, it. They sell it. <laughs> they sell it to the Philippines for people to eat. Don't well, they have enough fish in the Philippines? Why they got to? <laughs> why you got to send frozen fish? Now, how do you send frozen? Because the, tuna how, is banned in the Pacific. That's why. How do you send? Because there's no rivers over there. It's all there's no rivers. All pollution. Right. Now, <laughs> what happens is, what do you, you take? You take a, a, a hundred pound fish. You wrap it up. You put it inside maybe some dry ice. Yeah. And then you sit, you ship it fragile. How do you how do you ship a fish over the ocean? UPS. And if if the if the if the if the, the plane goes down or whatever, what happens? Does the fish come back to life and swim out? What happened? It's dead. Huh? They cut off its head. Why would you do that? Why would I do that? Well, because uh, it freaks out people when they cook it. Also, so it won't come back to life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that would be pretty much... Um, that would be, would be final, right? Fish heads is a delicacy in some cultures. Fish? I think the Eskimos like to eat the fish heads. The yeah, mo- they do. The they mo- don't use for fertilizer. That's the, right. <laughs> did you know that the honeybee is the most popular U.S. insect? The African honeybee? No, the honeybee. <laughs> a regular honeybee. Is it so? Which is which is popular in the Arkansas, Georgia, Kansas, Louisiana, Maine, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, New Hampshire, New Jersey, North Carolina, South Dakota, Utah, Vermont, so and we, Wisconsin. So it's like we our 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 nation's bird is the eagle so is our nation's insect going to be the honeybee, the honeybee yeah sure well, the most popular insect followed that by the swallowtail butterfly the ladybird beetle ladybug the monarch butterfly a firefly like fireflies he's just like to go catch them in, in the summer nights and then smash them on your your feet Write and watch them grow sh- hey, do, do they I, actually i tried eating the wings of a monarch butterfly it tasted bitter do they actually why would you on why, wait 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 why would you be eating the wings of a butterfly I was a young kid. I thought it. I thought it was like candy, and really? my mom wouldn't give me any candy. And I said, oh, "I want some candy." And I, I thought the butterfly nearby, and I thought it was sweet. I was five years old. That traumatized you at all? <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't eat candy now. Now, now, this the popular insects. Do they vote on this? <laughs> well, there is no, um, there is no particular way that they find out. This is just a. The top ten favorite. I'm sure there's probably some election because I don't like or, bees. Yeah. But the killer <laughs> bees. The killer bees look exactly like the honeybee. That's right, you know? John Belushi. Yeah. <laughs> no, the killer bees are skinny. The honey bees are fat. No, nah, John Belushi <laughs> looks skinny to me. <laughs> he, he, and he must have been a uh, the honey bee then. That's right, but he called himself the killer bee, man. Maybe he was a honey bee that just maybe went crazy and needed therapy. <laughs> maybe he got fat. 